Ever been on an aircraft looking out the window and wonder why is that wing tip bent upward? Is this normal? This is why we should ask an engineer. The portion of the wingtip that bends upward is called the winglet. The winglet is a device that's used to reduce the drag of an aircraft. Drag is a force that resists the movement of the aircraft in the air. The more drag, the more thrust is needed from the engine to accelerate the aircraft or maintain the speed of the aircraft in the air. Usually, more thrust means higher fuel consumption. So if you're adding winglets to reduce drag, you're going to improve the performance of the aircraft, reduce its fuel consumption, and also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But how does a winglet work? When an aircraft is flying, invisible vortices are created at the tips of the wing. Those vortices cause a few issues. The first one is more operational, especially when aircraft follow one another closely. This is why we space aircraft, especially during takeoff and landing. Another impact of the vortices is that it creates extra drag, often called induced drag. Induced drag represents a large portion of the total drag felt by the aircraft in flight. By installing winglets at the tip of the wing, you are essentially putting an obstacle to those vortices. Their strength is reduced and also is the drag felt by the aircraft. Another benefit of the winglet is that it will create a small amount of extra thrust. We can also agree that winglets do improve the looks of aircraft. Interesting to note that Bombardier has been a precursor in the use of winglets on aircraft. But the winglet concept is nothing new. It was first dreamt up in the 1800s by British aerodynamicist Frederick Lancaster. It was brought back to fashion in the 1970s, investigated and tested by a NASA engineer, Mr. Richard Whitcomb. The first production aircraft to introduce winglets was the Learjet 28 in 1977, a Bombardier aircraft. It was soon followed by the Challenger 601, another Bombardier aircraft. Industry-wide adoption of winglets lagged a little bit. No one doubted the drag benefit of the winglets, but some people thought that the extra weight and complexity associated with winglets would negate the benefits. With its know-how and experience, Bombardier always thought different. And now, with the industry-wide adoption of winglets, we've been finally proven right. Visit our channel for more answers and to submit your own questions. The most interesting ones will be showcased in future episodes. And you may be selected to be the one presenting your explanations when people ask an engineer.